tell us a little bit about your experience working with the AACCC conductors and the team at CDC and you know what's the, the special sauce of the technology and the collaborating with them? Of course. So uh, we worked on it on two different projects, one with ComEd, one with Duke Energy. Um, they were uh, greenfield projects. They were not reconductors. So it was transmission space, uh, 230 kV, I believe. Um, our experience with CTC was great. Um, the secret sauce, I think, is really being able to express uh, the total cost of ownership savings. Um, you know, there's a little bit of cost up front, but at the end of the day, um, when it comes to looking at total installed cost and then total cost of ownership, um, cost within operation and maintenance, there's actually a, a significant savings there. When you and your teams are, are working on designing power line projects, what are kind of the areas of top focus, top challenges that are, are you know, making the jobs difficult today, but also you know, the exciting things that are moving the, the envelope? Well, uh, every job seems to start out in the uh, environmental planning and permitting stages. And with current regulations, they, they're taking a long time to get permits out. And whether it's an interconnection to a renewable with a transmission line or a uh, reconductoring, you still need the permit, and the permit's taking time, so that's taking quite a bit of, uh, of the time that's necessary for the project. So there's impacts. And so once the impacts occur, the uh, clients usually want to compress somewhere else, and from that aspect, it's, uh, it's a little challenging. Yeah. to do uh, a lot of work in a shorter amount of time. Absolutely. And then on, on the technology side, where do uh, things like the advanced conductors for the grid come in? And, and what do you think is the current state of the utility sector in adopting those? Well, I think uh, with the current news that's out that everybody talks about needing two and three times capacity that we have right now uh, to meet the energy transition, um, when we begin to start to look at that, uh, the, uh, the ACCC and, and the higher capacity conductors uh, are the fastest, easiest way for us to get to uh, delivering more power in a short amount of time. You can do that in the current right-of-ways. Uh, it will shorten the permitting time, as we've talked about before, and um, uh, carry more current. And as you look at your work in the T and D and the DER space, what are the major areas of focus these days, or the you know, the pain points that your teams are working on? Well, look, supply chain is still still going to be a, a, a pain point. Um, and for us, you know, one of the one of the services that we offer too is is on the supply chain side of things. Um, you know, we have eighty five thousand employees across the globe, meaning that we have people in one hundred and forty different countries. Um, so that. Really, we have boots on the ground, feet on the street, so to speak. So we're in front of or in uh, nearly every manufacturing facility uh, on the planet, um, which is good for our clients because not everybody can travel anymore. It's not that easy. Um, so that's a, that's a benefit for us. But I also think, you know, a, a, a kind of dovetailing onto that is is on the supply chain side is new technology, right? New tech new technology is going to drive what's happening here in, in the market not just here in North America, but across the globe. Um, and really what I find in, in, in new technology, like with CTC, um, obviously you get the buzzwords of resiliency and sustainability, you know, and that's really what, what this is about. Um, you know, we have an aging infrastructure here uh, in North America. Um, that's, not a, that's not a secret. Um, and really with the new technologies that are, that are coming on board, um, you know, so too is the reluctance, right? It, it needs to be a proven technology. I think CTC is doing a great job uh, with that um, and looking at what they can offer with this existing structures that are out there. Obviously, they can, they can integrate their lines um, in, a, in a more feasible manner. Um, no, no new structures have to come in um, and, and that's what the important thing is. Um, and for us, again, from a constructability side of things, um, that's really, really helps us and our clients. Yeah. And I know you recently took the tour of CTC's yeah. facilities. So I'd love if you could tell me a little bit about them. One of the things that struck me um, immediately as I walked through the doors on, onto the floor was the cleanliness, right? In, in the state-of-the-art facility, the equipment that they have, 
but more importantly, the people. Um, I think I think companies, their products are one thing, people are another, and I think some some companies have forget that. Um, and just the energy that I saw uh, across the floor, the pride that people take in their jobs as I was speaking to them, is really top notch. And I think that 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 really sets T CTC a, a, a above the rest. Yeah. And, and how does that seeing that kind of inspire you from? In, in knowing what this technology can do and where you might want to deploy it? Well, I, look, I think it's all about trust, right? That's what it's about. And, um, you know, our, our company prides itself on our, our tagline as being trust makers. And, and really that's what it's about. Um, having those relationships, trusting your suppliers. You know, we're not buying or selling anything, uh, but we're working with our clients to make sure that they're, they're acquiring the right technologies that will be sustainable and, of course, save them money uh, in the long run.